Are you new to editing on PS4 and want to level up your PS4 editing skills? Well look no further because in this series I'm going to teach you guys how to edit on ShareFactory and how to edit like the pros. Really quick before we start, if you do get value out of this series or these videos, make sure to drop a like on them and don't forget to subscribe if you do really want more tutorials or if you want entertaining gaming videos. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get straight into this. So here from the home screen, you're going to make sure you're on the videos tab and you're going to make sure you click X on new project. You should see some project themes on your screen, but you can pick any of them because it doesn't really matter which one you use. So now you should see some theme clips and you're going to want to go to each of the ones that have a check mark and deselect them. Make sure they don't have a check mark on them because we don't want to use any of these. Now on the left hand side, you're going to see a bunch of different options of sorting what you're trying to look for. But you're going to go to the section or the tab called buy game and you're going to click X on this. Then you're going to click whichever game you're trying to edit. And for the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to be using some Modern Warfare gameplay. Which, by the way, I have some Modern Warfare content down in the description or in the top right if you want to see some of my Fire Modern Warfare videos. So once you're hovering over the game that you're going to use, you're going to press X to go into that game. And then you're going to go to each of the recordings you're trying to edit and press X on them. So each one of the ones you're trying to use should have a check mark on them. As you can see in the bottom left, you can have a maximum of 50 clips selected and a maximum of 80 minutes of video in your project. Now the maximum length the project can be when exporting is only 60 minutes, so when you select more than 60 minutes of footage, it's going to automatically shorten some of the end stuff down to like 10 seconds and then you can later on trim it. But just for the purpose, for now you can have up to 80 minutes of footage in your project. After you selected all the clips that you want to use, you're going to press square and rename the project to whatever the video is going to be. And so for the tutorial, I'm just going to name it test for now should be in the main editing screen, so let's go through all the basics first. I'm still going to go over all of these in depth, but I just want to quickly want to go through all over the main buttons. So the X button is to add things. Things you can add are more clips, screenshots, track twos, music, overlays, filters, layouts, and finally you can add transitions. The square button is going to be your editing button. You can edit the speed of a clip, you can split them, trim them, delete them, clone them, zoom in, edit overlays, edit filters, edit layouts, edit track twos, edit transition, edit music, and finally edit the clip volume. Circle is to back out of something or to back out of the project. The touchpad and R3, also known as the right stick, are used to go through the clips. Left and right on the D-pad are used to go frame by frame for fine tuning and splitting and other things. Up and down on the D-pad are to make the project head more wide or more short depending on whether you want to see more of your clips or if you want to maximize the length of them to make it easier for you to fine tune and split clips similar to before. Clicking R3 or the right stick is if you've messed with the project head, whether you've made it more wide or shorter, it resets it just in case you want to make it back to how it originally was. Clicking L3 or the left stick in is to view just track 1, to view track 1 and 2, or to, to view track 1, 2, and any music. But this is only possible if you've added track 2 or if you've added music. So either of those or both of them. L2, or the bottom left trigger, is to switch between the editing screen and full screen. Triangle is to share your videos on YouTube and or Twitter. Which, by the way, the maximum upload length for YouTube and Twitter, YouTube, is 60 minutes from ShareFactory. That's the maximum amount, like an hour, 60 minutes. And the maximum upload length for Twitter is somewhere between 30 seconds to 60 seconds, also known as a minute. And finally, the options button. Here you can save your project, export it to your gallery, which then you can still share it after, it still gives you the option as well. Or you can select a frame of the video to be the thumbnail for the video. Now that you guys know all of the basics, let's go ahead and get more in depth to all of these. So with this, let's start with the ad clip. So this is going to be pretty similar to how we started out this tutorial. When you're in the ad clip part, you can add more things to your current project. And you can sort these things by most recently recorded, all the way back to the first thing you recorded on your PS4. You can sort it by alphabet, so whatever the game is, so say you have Fall Guys, 
Then you have Assassin's Creed, uh, Modern Warfare is going to go Assassin's Creed, Fall Guys, and Modern Warfare is going to go in alphabetically rank the videos. Next up you have Buy Game, so you can click this like we did at the start and look for a specific game and look through all of those clips you have on that game. Then we have Buy Category, which you can use to look at theme clips if you do want to use those for some reason. Capture Gallery videos, so just all of your videos in general and imported videos, so if you have a USB and you've imported videos to your PS4, you can look at those. Which, by the way, I will be doing a tutorial on in the future, so if you're curious about that, just drop a comment and let me know, and I'll try to get it to you sooner. And finally, we have the Buy Selected tab. So what this does is if you go through multiple different tabs and you're adding different stuff from each, you know, checkmarking different stuff, right before you add them by pressing Square, you can go to buy selected and see which ones you have checkmarked or aka or selected and review them you can press l2 to make them full screen and r2 to view them press play on them and then scroll through them with the touchpad or the right stick to look at them make sure everything's good make sure you have them in the right order and then press square to add them all next up we have add track 2 which you can record a video live if you have the playstation camera hooked up to your ps4 you can add commentary, just audio with your microphone, if you want to do that. Or you can add clips on top of it and layer it on top of your video. So if you have a green screen, you can put it on top of the video, and we'll go in more in depth on that. But you can layer on top of the video, take out the green part, and have it be on the video. You can layer a meme on top of it, you can do whatever. So next up we have music. So with music here, you have the theme music, share factor music, and imported music. So with theme music, this varies between theme to theme, like PUBG theme music will be different than Apex Legends theme music, and so on. Then there's Share Factory music, which is just all audio tracks that Share Factory has put in the application. Now, I don't advise using either the theme music or the Share Factory music because there is a risk of getting your video copyright claimed, or even striked maybe. And I can make a video on that in the future, letting you guys know which ones are copyright claimed, and all that kind of stuff. If you want, just drop a comment down below. And then you have imported music. And this includes sound effects, music, anything that you add to PS4. And on top of the methods of sorting I already listed before, there's also sort by alphabet or alphabetical, and there's also sort by most recent. So next up we have overlays. So in the overlays, we have stickers, we have text, we have imported images, we have theme stickers, share factory stickers, and more. And then we have finally camera effects, which are different things you can do, like you can add an effect that zooms in, a screen, like a effect that's called Quake, which kind of trembles the screen. All of these can be used for different stuff, like montages and such. If you don't have a USB to do a green screen or something like that on share factory, you can actually use these, and if you know how to do it right, you can make your own like like animation with these stickers. So next up we have text. Now on Share Factory there is over 24 different fonts you can use, and then of these fonts there are small, medium, and large versions of these fonts. There are actually surprisingly a lot of good fonts in here as well. I really like a lot of these fonts, and I use a lot of them in my videos, which if you guys watch my videos you guys will know which ones I tend to use more often. But there is a lot of different styles of them, so no matter what kind of fonts you like, or what kind of fonts you want for your video, you should find the perfect one for you. And finally we have effects. Now I briefly went over this already, there's not much to it, but there's a bunch of different effects that you can put on your video that do different things. Uh, a lot of these are usually good for montages or maybe certain parts in videos that you want to zoom in, to shake, to just kind of drift around, to like pulse in and out, like a heartbeat for like intense moments. This is a bunch of good stuff you can use and I can go more in depth on that when we go to the next video when we teach you guys how to edit. Next up on this we have filters. So on filters there's over 29 different filters you can use. There's plenty of them that you can use and adjust to your liking. And that ranges from like saturation filters, clarity filters, VHS styled ones, all just bright red ones, uh, really dark bluish purple. There's like ones that look like psychedelics, ones that look like you're in like vintage. There's a bunch of different stuff you can use for any type of project that would be great for you to use. Just from the adding perspective, there's not a whole lot to go over for adding filters, so I'll be going more in depth on filters once we get to the editing part next episode. Next up we have layouts. So on Shift Factory there's over 15 different layouts, 
and some of these are pretty good some of them I don't even really use that often but there are ones that you can kind of put like a black kind of bar ish not even really a bar but like something blurry around the screens for like scary kind of videos you can actually put blur around the screens to keep like your tunnel vision kind of effect there is ones that kind of chop off half the screen so you can only see one part of the screen and not the other vice versa there's ones that kind of split them into small little bars there's a bunch of different stuff you can experiment with and finally here we have add transitions so with the transitions there's a bunch of different ones you can do there's too many that I'm not even gonna count but you have comic kind of transitions that can like flip pages like a comic book. You have dissolves that kind of go from uh, one picture to the next, kind of fade through black of that. You have one that just kind of cuts from black to the next one. You have one that kind of fades and then cuts to. You have ones that kind of like piece in in small little pieces that like are little blocks that come into one big picture. You have burn fades. And there is a color that is kind of overlaid on the screen that you can change and do to your liking. Then you have like theme kind of transitions, like say like a PUBG or Infamous Second Son or Apex. There's like theme styled transitions meant for those type of games. There is PS4 and Share Factory like transitions and themes. And then you can even make your own with screenshots and stuff and I can go into that in a later episode. But yeah, there's a lot of different transitions you guys can use and there's plenty to pick from so you guys will never run out. Alright everyone, so this video is getting pretty long already, and there is so much more to show you guys and teach you guys, so I'm going to be splitting this video into multiple parts. In this video, I showed you guys the basics, like all the basic controls, how to add everything. In next video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to edit your projects, your videos, and then also how to edit everything I showed you guys how to add today, which is from text, stickers, layouts, filters, track 2, music, everything. On top of showing you guys all the basic tutorials and how to use everything in later episodes in this series, I'm also going to be teaching you guys how to do really advanced stuff to make your guys' videos look professional, like next grade, like high movie grade level editing. But if you did get value out of this tutorial, make sure to drop a like on it, and if you want to catch the next video in the series, or the other videos in the series at the time of this coming out, make sure to subscribe with post notifications on so you do not miss it or check down below how long you're watching this after. If it's been a little bit after this has been posted, then the link to the next episode or the playlist should be in the description up there in the top right in the information cards or in the pinned comment down below. And like I said before, you guys do not want to miss these videos by any means in this series because you guys' videos, if you know all of these tips I'm going to give you guys, you guys' videos are going to be like all of your favorite YouTubers, you guys are going to be editing like professionals. But alright everyone, next episode I'm teaching you guys how to edit everything I showed you today and more. If you guys have questions of things that you guys want me to teach you guys how to do next episode or in the future episodes, make sure to drop a comment down below letting me know. If you guys enjoy the series and want more editing tips in general, leave a like, like I said. And this has been Anthony, I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Hopped in the coupe, bitch, I feel like speed racer. I can't go no hoe, I'm in love with the paper, man.